hi guys I am Saad Aslam and in this video I am going to show you how you can configure Google reCAPTCHA configuration in your website I am making this website on request of my batch fellow Hassan Farooq so now moving on to our Google Chrome uh, in Google Chrome you have to type Google reCAPTCHA when you type Google reCAPTCHA you can click on my reCAPTCHA and when you click on this site will appear here is the list of my recent uh, recaptcha sites to create a new one simply go to label and here I type uh, new and select recaptcha v2 and for domain I am using localhost localhost uh, accept the recaptcha terms of services send alerts to others now and then register after registering here are some details I will use its, these details in my code now going to my code editor sublime text here I, I have written some basic HTML code the basic HTML structure we have uh, I go to Google and uh, checked it localhost captcha here captcha is my folder which I have made in my uh, C XAMPP folder htdocs is the uh, folder name so now we can see that there is a simple form and a submit button there is nothing here else now move to uh, for this copy this script here control C and then move to code editor and paste it below the body the, then move to this div part con control C for copy and then paste it below our re required portion where we can type text and above the submit button controls s for save then go to google and again reload it it is taking some time reloading local host captcha it's taking why it is taking much time it hasn't uh, there's some mistake in my google uh, captcha dev script and why it is not loading my there was some network error when I resume I resolved that network error so now again localhost captcha and now you can see there is a box including recaptcha when I click on this we will configure that some selections select all vehicles so then select next I haven't Included all the sidewalk, so it has clicked on it. Send request. It do nothing because I haven't applied some PHP code here. So now move to my code editor and I start PHP code. And here I type if is set underscore uh, dollar underscore post submit this means when the user clicks on the submit button then this code will run then go to this side and here we need these three attributes secret response and remote IP and also we need URL so now make these variables in our code for making these variables underscore uh, secret under or dollar dollar response 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 and dollar remote IP 
and you uh, url now move to our the captcha google and simply copy this uh, text and then move to call editor and paste it in our secret and then response copy this area copy and then move to response variable and for remote IP uh, I have missed something uh, I need underscore post means whenever this data comes from our post underscore post this data will come from our post and underscore for remote IP I will use underscore server underscore server and remote address a double tr I am basically making this uh, video on the basis that you have some basic knowledge of PHP then I need file get contents and then for this move to again move to and URL select this URL control C and paste it in here and apply some double course and then question mark secret is equals to underscore secret and response is equals to dollar response I am response and I and with and and remote IP is equals to dollar remote IP uh, secret is equal to secret and response is equal to underscore uh, dollar response and remote is equal to remote IP and then I will store this URL in our result variable what is result variable and uh, I am applying some JSON decode and underscore URL comma another argument that is true whenever this result is true uh, this will store in the R result here I am applying another if condition if underscore result success is equals is equals to one when they uh, result is equals, is equals to one then this if condition will run this whole area is uh, justifying that we have configured all the uh, right decisions we have make all the right decisions in our recapture then this result will uh, if, if condition will run here I am equals underscore uh, dollar dollar post post I will echo this request which I will write in the form req to check whether our code has run successfully now save and go to Google recaptcha now again load uh, simply local load this is taking some time to load basically my internet speed is low so the here you can see that my internet speed has now gone so after making this internet working I will after my internet access is now available I reload the page and now I type some SWAT and click on this this is a text uh, a fire hydrant select 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 uh, another there is another no verify verify 
Oh, connection lost. Again, reload. So, there is some disturbance in my local connection. So, it is making disturbing vehicles. Another no. Select. Oh, but uh, verify. Very far out. This uh, internet connection is disturbing much. Hello. There were some network issues. I have resolved my network issue and I have resumed it again. Now moving on, uh, I can type ASD, click on this and here are some pictures, storefront, here the storefront, storefront, here. and uh, if this, I don't know, it is, it, this, this picture isn't showing, what is this picture? Uh, well, if this is the source front, pictures are coming, they are not uh, verify. I zoom next. Oh, what the next? Oh, oh some signs. is not verifying uh, I am unable to cars one two three four I am not it five it is playing a game with me five another car I am not seeing any car any oh this is one more No verify. No send request. Now, here is my text echo. This means our code which I have written here has run successfully. Means all our attributes which are in this result, saved in the result. This result, if condition has uh, now run and this required which i have written echo means our request has been printed on the side so all this uh eCAPTCHA has been configured successfully you can configure it according to your website i hope uh, this co tutorial so now again I hope this tutorial find you in best of here's my some of my contact details, my WhatsApp account, my email, my Facebook and blog. Happy coding and see you in my next tutorial.